This edition of Arizona Technology and Innovation looks at a joint effort by Salt River Project and the high-tech firm Baselayer to help grow the Internet with reliable power while at the same time reduce the need for added power infrastructure. Here to talk about all this is Clint Poole, manager of Wireline Services at SRP Telecom. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. I sounded like I knew what I was talking about in that introduction, but I'm going to ask you some pretty basic questions here. Um, what is a data center and how is SRP involved with them? So data centers are the buildings that power the internet. So if you think about information being stored and processed when you go to your smartphone or computer, it's occurring on servers that are inside of buildings, and these buildings are called data centers. Okay, what is a data station? So a data station is a concept that SRP is working on, and it's SRP's concept, and it really explores and it seeks out to solve some supply and demand challenges between the data center industry and the power utility. A data station takes what is known as the modular data station, or data center, which Baselayer has pioneered. So Baselayer is a data center company that kind of solved this problem of the old building just isn't scaling fast enough for the internet industry. So they created mobile containerized data centers. And what that allows us to do is take the data center where the power load is and move it to the key arteries on our transmission grid where the power is available and reliable and of good power quality. So we're seeing uh, these, are, these are modular data centers that Baselayer has developed and you guys have found a way to work with Baselayer, this high-tech firm, to move them where the grid is. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The, the concept really came about because these data centers um, you know, that consume a large amount of power. Today, it's estimated that they use 2% of all the power used in the United States. And by the year 2030, that could reach 20% of all the power used in the United States. So for utilities such as SRP, delivering power to data centers in the traditional sense, that means growing the power grid. And growing the power grid is expensive. The project timelines are very long, and it can create impact and disruption to the community. So what we're attempting to solve here is how do we support the growth of the data center industry and the internet uh, and without the need for grid expansion and keeping the disruption of the community to a minimum. And that's by bringing the data center to the power grid. And when you say to the power grid, I would imagine closer to power lines, closer to fiber optics, these sorts of things? Yeah, you got it. The, the, the power grid's a very complex system, and as you move up it, it's like a supply chain of electrons. You get up to the bulk transmission layer, which is the most reliable and carries the most amount of power. We're attempting to take those data centers and plug them into the bulk transmission layer of the power grid. Okay, and now, it, it is, and again, you mentioned this earlier, but the concept of reliable power, that's huge. For the, for the high-tech industry. Absolutely. To the extent that data centers require reliable power, today data centers are spending as much as 40% of the cost of construction on power reliability. So that's generators and backup uh, batteries. So if you can re re reduce or eliminate that need, then that's a, a substantial cost savings to the data center industry. Part of the attraction here is that uh, ratepayers won't have to pay too much in terms of expanding the grid, as you say. Is this because simply you are... You're moving the mountain to Muhammad? I mean, what, is that what yeah, you're doing here? Yeah, that's right. You're, you're taking the need to the source. You're taking the, the data center power load to where it's available, rather than the traditional way of doing it, which is building transmission lines to where the data centers decide they want to go. Now, is, did Baselayer, were they the first to come up with this idea of these modular data centers? Uh, they... Um, they are the first to create the modular for this purpose. Okay. So we worked with them for this purpose of, of creating a modular data center for the power station. And an extremely innovative company, and, uh, you know, and it doesn't hurt that they're right across the street. So, <laughs> yeah, they, they absolutely. So it, as far as the, the combination and getting this idea started and getting it to fruition, and, it, and when does, is, is it up and operational now? So right now we're working on a proof of concept, and the proof of concept is in construction right now, and it will be... Uh, it will go live quarter one of 2015, so in the next few months. Okay, and how many plan to be deployed, do you think? Uh, well, the, the modular proof of concept accommodates four modules, and that's up to a megawatt of power. So, but, but I mean, in one location, in one will, location. will there be other locations? Oh, absolutely. So the idea is 
to evaluate and test the proof of concept. In the data, the data center industry, they have what's called a tier rating, and the Uptime Institute puts out a tier rating that rates data centers based on power reliability. But that tier rating is based on how much generation capacity and how much battery banks do you have. So by taking and, and actually taking the data center and applying it to reliable power, you don't have the need. So there's not a tier structure. So what we need is a third party assessment for power reliability. And once we get that and we're able to demonstrate the power reliability, then it's going to be commercialized. And we expect that to happen in this upcoming next year. Up in the next year. Yes. Yeah, because you wonder, you have all these, these, these little spots now, all of a sudden in different spots, how many can be run at the same time? You kind of worry that you're overloading the system, but you're saying... That's right. That's what the bulk transmission system was built yeah. for. Okay. Um, as far as, as the future now, and as far as the impact on consumers, how, how can you be sure that this is going to cut costs, or at least it cut the increase in costs at the future date? Well, what we're trying to do is keep costs down. And you do that by keeping your, your systems or your equipment or your assets down to a, a, a manageable sense. And this really gets to the legacy of SRP, of, of planning for tomorrow's needs today and being resource managers. And what we're doing is we're getting the best utilization out of the power grid to support the needs of the valley tomorrow. And so we're able to keep costs down by not expanding the power grid. Are there other players that could be involved in this at a later date? Or is this something that's pretty specific to you and base layer? Well, right now, we're the only ones. This is the first of its type. Um, we expect, you know, this, this is a common sense solution that solves problems for multiple industries. Yeah. So we expect that this will be replicated. All right, so we look for the, the prototype here within the next few months. That's correct. And we look for this being online and operational within the next year. In the next year, that's right. All right, well, we'll keep an eye on this. Very interesting stuff. Good to have you here. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining me. us.